Okay, good job, everybody. Good job. Good job. No, we win as a team. We win as a team. I was amazing, though, wasn't I? Yeah, P6 was a great result for us. All right, so where are we going next? Singapore. Aussie Villain and welcome back to Aussie Villain Racing. Today it is the Singapore Grand Prix. Uh, but I've, uh, there was some, some feedback in the Discord and thank you very much for the feedback. Saying that you'd like to see a little bit more of what goes on between races. So I'm going to try and do this uh, do this a little bit differently today. Uh, starting with the activities. I should say too, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but let's have a look here for the activity timeline. So we have simulated training, which will help Markalov. Driver promotion training, which will give me a claim. Aero team building. Now, morale, I'll double check, but I don't think that's an issue for us. And then a marketing strategy conference will give us a claim. Um, I'm thinking of those options. Again, let's try and build up Markalov. Uh, Markalov, what's his name? Well, what's his name? Markalov. It's uh, gone blank. Swartzman. Swartzman, of course it is. Um, so that's what we'll do. So that is that. Now, facilities, we have, well, we have 3.2. So we have a little bit of money to invest. So let's go over to the personnel here. Let's do the fitness center for 1.2. And let's do the other thing here for 1 million. That leaves us a million in the bank. That's absolutely fine. Um, so that is that. Again, investing in Markalov or whoever the teammate going forward may be. Yeah, you can see all our morale in every department except for durability is high. So we did the right thing there. Now we do have some R&D points to spend. Um, now we do have coming in for this race, the major, I think it's the uh, weight redistribution, the engine cover should be here for this race. So what do we want to do here? We want to go and have a look and see if there's anything else we can spend here. Barge boards, we've got a little bit of a discount on. Uh, that's only a minor thing. So we, there may be something better we can spend this on. Um, that's not available yet. Okay, but that's again just a minor upgrade. Uh, and if we go down, so there's nothing else on the aerodynamics apart from the barge boards. If we go to the weight... Or the chassis side of things, I should say. Now, the cable assembly. So, we could do both of those. Two minor. As in that and the barge boards. Um, and there's not much else there. So, maybe that's what we're looking to do here. Powertrain. Again, it's a minor. Oh, it's a major engine upgrade. So, maybe that's what we want to do. Fuel efficiency is not particularly an issue for us. And then durability, again, not something we're particularly worried about at this point in time. So I think what we might do here, so let's go back and let's have a look at the engine was a major upgrade. So I think it makes sense to do that, doesn't it? It'll be here just in time for the American Grand Prix. So let's do that. Look where that would put us so far up the order. So that's a, that is absolutely huge potentially for us. Um, so that, as I said, it's a bit of a no brainer. And then, what do we have left? 500 points. Um, if we go back to the cable assembly, we can do that. And that's, I mean, it says it's a minor upgrade, but it's quite a big move forward, isn't it? So let's, oh, we've reached our capacity there. So this is just, you could, we can only do so much with, a, with the spec that we have. Uh, and we don't have enough points for that. So now we have a situation of, do we save the points or do we just go and get this done? It's only 236 so let's just get that done again so we're going to have a big step forward for this american grand prix aren't we we can get through this singapore grand prix which will almost certainly end with me in the wall at some point um and then and then obviously the, the the japanese one as well and we could have well we could have a very nice car moving forward you can see though it's uh well everybody's moving forward at roughly the same rate here aren't they uh the vehicle itself everything is fine on that front and um, the corporate side of things, again, nothing has particularly changed. Markalov's... Uh, Markalov. His focus is probably gone because I keep calling him Markalov. Uh, his focus has dropped to 74, which isn't ideal. Hopefully, we'll be able to get that back. Uh, we can see the finances there and everything as well. And um, just as a quick update on the rivalry, we are seven points, I guess, away from defeating Ocon, which would be a nice little, a nice little thing for us. Well, let's advance through. It's only a week off. See if we have any other issues here Our that come up. Have completed without issue. So new parts are on the car. Next race weekend. 
let's go and have a look at what those new parts are. So if we go uh, back to R&D to here and we'll have a look and see what's gone on. So nothing on the aerodynamics. The engine cover is on. That's a major upgrade. That is huge. You can see down the bottom there uh, what that has done. And is there anything else that's going on the car? No, but that's a major upgrade. Ready for this Singapore Grand Prix. That's exciting. Let's get off to uh, let's get off to Singapore. All right, let's have a look at the messages. The preview there, you can see the Singapore track. It is, uh, yeah, it's it's an interesting one. And as I said, I'm almost certainly going to end in a wall. This will probably not be a full race. Uh, the weather forecast, thankfully, is dry. Nighttime, but dry. Uh, the engine cover there, confirmation that that's on the car. So, guys, I will leave you while I go do free practice, and we'll be back in a moment for qualifying one. All right, well, this is going to be a very long or possibly a very short race. I am not good at this track. We Free practice has been a disaster. We barely got... Uh, I think we may have not come last in one of them. So let's go to Q1. All right, so here we go. What is already our second attempt at Q1? I've already hit the wall once. Had to come into the pits to change our wing. Um, yeah, I'm massively struggling. I hope we don't come last. Anything other than that will be a bonus. And there probably won't be too much talking here as I just try and... Stay out of the walls as much as anything. Never mind, go fast. I'm just really struggling, like, just breaking... Well, breaking points I'm not too bad at. I've sort of found those, but just turning in and getting the racing line that I want, I'm just really struggling with it. So we'll try and lay down something here and then try and beat it in a second run. That's sort of my basic plan here. And would you believe this is actually so much better than what I was doing when I first... <laughs> Did I hit the wall there, I think? It's going to take more time to repair the car now. Getting the car turned around this corner and then straightened up to accelerate down this straight has been a bit of a nightmare as well. I also had a lot of trouble getting the car, and I'm still not completely convinced I've nailed it, but just even getting the car set up to take the turns, it feels a little bit like the car's too heavy, so I don't know if that's, yeah, I've obviously got something done wrong, but anyway, there's one lap done. All right, here we go. This will be our final attempt. Fresh set of tires. Let's see what we can do. Again, probably won't be much talking here. Already down. God damn it. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Even those corners I was taking okay in free practice, I'm stuffing up now. Making a little bit of time back. Now for the, this tricky bit. That was better than last time, wasn't it? But still slower. Ah. Oh. We don't have time to put fresh tires on, so let's go again. What's the worst that can happen? We go even slower. He 
You can see there I, that coming onto this straight, I just can't quite. You've got to nail it, and I just can't quite get on here with enough pace to really, you know. One thing I have. Okay, there's two minutes left in this session, and we're in the drop zone. We need a quick lap, or that's qualifying over for us. Thanks, Jeff. I wasn't aware of that. One thing I have really noticed around this track as well, I don't know if it's... Uh, well, that's probably us, isn't it? The tyres... Yeah, we've lost the front wing. Yeah, I've noticed the tyre wear is just ridiculous. Like, it they, 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 it goes lap on lap. Uh, we have come last. We have done... The, that's a kick in the face, isn't it? We've done the exact same time as Nicholas Latifi, but he's obviously done it first. And we've been out-qualified by Swartz, but obviously out-qualified by Ocon. And... Um, it's going to be a long race. Let's get to it. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Sainz, Lando Norris, and Perez, Ricardo, Vettel, Gasly, and Yuki Tsunoda. Ocon, Leclerc, they've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and Giovinazzi. Schwartzman, Mazepin, Nicholas Latifi and Lance Stroll. Oldtimer, Fernando Alonso. Raikkonen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So I'm going to claim that we haven't qualified last at all, have we? We are 19th on the grid. I almost think that's worse, to be honest. Um, I'm wondering... I'm even tempted to start on the hard tyre. Or do we... Speaking of inverting the strategy, do we actually start on the soft... And then come in for the medium... Try and get a jump on fresh soft tires on those around us, and then put on the meat the, the fresher mediums while they're on. It's not going to make a difference because I'm going to crash anyway, and I'm terrible at this track. But well, in theory, I like the sound of it. Let's uh, see how it works. So here we go for the Singapore Grand Prix, starting a lot further back than we've maybe become accustomed to recently. But on the soft tires, we have got a good start compared to those around us. Latifi, Mazepin, and Swartzman in front of us with a little bit of space on the inside. We duck in there. And, well, we can we get Mazepin? We should be able to duck up the inside. Don't hit the back of Swartzman. And uh, bailing out of that, trying to hit Swartzman. A little bit too much wheel spin there has let Mazepin get ahead of us. But we've kept Stroll and Russell behind us. Up the inside we go of Mazepin. Thank you very much. And we are now behind Latifi as we come onto the back straight. So a decent start, up to 17th. We started 19th, didn't we? Let's see if we can uh, not run up the back of cars as we go deep into the end of the, what's that, turn four or five. And uh, up the inside here, we'll roll it inside of Latifi there. Thank you very much, Nicholas. And we just about get back to the racing line a little bit deep. But There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Unfortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. That's a shame. A safety car may have helped us out a little bit there, but we're behind Swartzman now, up into 60. And, uh, whoa! That was not an intended move. Uh, that was very much just trying to get out of the way. Let's have another look at it. Swartzman early on the brakes, and we sort of barge our way up the inside there. But uh, we've got through relatively cleanly. And that's P, uh, what are we now? 15th. And Mick Schumacher in a Haas is next. And, well, the super soft, or the soft tyres, I should say, they're working out okay here, aren't they? We've had a really good start. Uh, what's that? Four places now. We've got Stroll still behind us now in an Aston Martin. You would think at some point he's probably going to be uh, knocking on the back of us. And I think Alonso is still behind us as well, isn't he? Uh, now, of course, that's Ocon's dry, uh, teammate, and we know that we've had a, we've been able to beat Ocon, but usually around tracks that I have a clue around. The, the problem I had here, and you, I think, you, I mean, you've probably seen a little bit on this first lap as well, and I'm sure it'll happen as the race goes on. And with look at that, we've really caught the back of Mick Schumacher there as well. It, it's not that I can't take corners. <laughs> it's not that I can't take corners. Okay, I mean, I, I, I can, but not consistently. 
you know what, I'll sort of hit the apex in a nice racing line, carry speed through a corner one lap, and then the next lap be absolutely nowhere near it. Um, so, you know, if, if, if I can find consistency, which I've shown absolutely no sign of being able to do, then you never know. Maybe we could be in for a decent race. Uh, but I think points is going to be a little bit ambitious. But my plan of, I, in, in theory, I think my plan of starting on soft tyres, you can see a lot of those around us are on medium. So that should give us a speed advantage. We'll pit sooner. It will mean we're on fresh mediums when everybody else is on worn mediums, which should give us an advantage. Now it's just whether that advantage is going to be enough at the end of the race when everybody oh, went too deep on the brakes into that hairpin and oh! Ah, uh, Swartzman, you idiot! What are you doing, man? Let's have another look at it. Now, I have gone very deep on the brakes, but uh, I've come back a little bit like I'm going to do. Is anybody willing to say that that's not my fault? Uh, I mean, I've got to come back a little bit, but I, I'm sure Swartzman isn't maybe anticipating me to keep coming back. So, yeah, we've hurt Swartzman's race there. He goes back to last. Whether he did any damage to the wing, You'd imagine he's done some sort of damage there. Um, so that's that's really going to have hurt his race as well. And I almost spin it back into the wall on the far side there, but just about managed to keep it out. And, you know, we, we are catching the back of Mick Schumacher. It's, it, that hairpin is really killing us, isn't it? We lose so much time coming out of that. We kind of spend the rest of the lap... We're the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. He's trying to spend the rest of the lap trying to make up for the time we lose coming out of that hairpin. The first sector, I actually don't feel like I'm too bad at if I get it right. And that's not a bad exit there. Are we within DRS? DRS should be uh, available for us now. And let's have a look here. We rear wing is open, but Ralph, uh, Ralph Schumacher, Mick Schumacher's got it as well. So it's a sort of a net zero gain there, isn't it? But again, late on the brakes into the corner there. We get close enough. Can we have a lunge? No, a little bit too far back there. And this is the, sort of the part of the lap now where I start to lose time. Terrible at this corner again. Nowhere near the apex. And then this is uh, just a tricky part of the track. To carry as much speed through there and then uh, try and get into this corner. And then we'll come back to the hairpin where, generally speaking, we struggle. And, oh, tell you what, that looked a little bit close. I can be later on the brakes, I just can't get it, I can't get it turned and around and maybe that's because I'm a little bit too late on the brakes perhaps. This is another corner that looks simple but it's really There's tricky. There's been an incident on track but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now, just be careful. Again, trying to go too fast, it's it's sort of my mantra isn't it? You can really tell when I'm not comfortable because I try and go too fast and then I tend to make mistakes and just end up going slower. But we're as close as we've been to Mick Schumacher coming into the end of the lap so well you never know maybe we can uh, maybe we can have a sneaky sneaky overtake here somewhere now unfortunately that was as close as we got to Mick Schumacher uh, we're coming in for our pit stop now I didn't crash on the way into the pit lane which I short, thought for sure I was going to and looks like Latifi on the soft as well has come in and they're gonna pit just behind us aren't they in the Williams Hey, we can see Lando Norris, that's something. Absolutely no rear grip left at the end of the stint there. Hopefully the mediums hang on a little bit better, because we've got to go... Go, exit now. Whether any laps it is on that, and, and uh, well, it could be a disaster. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. So that is something that was really noticeable. I think I mentioned it in qualifying. The tyres, they really do wear uh, around here, and looks like Latifi's just beaten George Russell out and so by the end of the stint rear grip particularly I was really really struggling with and uh, I struggle at the best of times obviously so that wasn't great so we can see here lap 10 that we're still ahead of both the Williams it's a roughly even gap hasn't uh, changed too much okay we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. That'll go nicely with the loss of grip, Jeff. So we come back lap 11 now. We are still ahead of the Williams. Although you can see Stroll is behind. Mick Schumacher is coming out of the pits. And 
Well, there he is there. His worn mediums are apparently faster than our fresh mediums, and that's um, not ideal. And that's a bit of a blow for what I was hoping to do in the race, really, isn't it? Ah, uh, Shibak is ahead of us. It didn't work. Yeah, certainly didn't. But uh, let's see if we can maybe maybe catch him on uh, cold tyres. You can see behind us there, Lance Stroll. Again, he's got soft tyres now. Fresh, soft tyres in an Aston Martin. So faster tyres, faster car, faster driver, let's be honest. Um, probably not going to end well for us. But uh, we'll hang on as much as we can. Try and, and catch Mick. But again, Mick Schumacher is going to be on the on the softs. So he is essentially going to drive away from us. And you can see on the tower down the, the left-hand side there, Alonso is in between the two Williams behind us as well. Again, struggling to get off that hairpin. And that is likely all that Lance Stroll is going to need on the softer tyres. He goes to just drive straight past us up the inside. And there's not too much we can do about that once I've made the mistake coming out of the hairpin. See if we can maybe stay close enough to get some DRS out of him on the front straight. But uh, you can see he's already driving away from us. He's all, almost got his second and there we go. We're out of DRS zone already. And you can see behind us there Alonso all over the back of Latifi as well. And Latifi is definitely closer, isn't he? Getting pushed along there by Fernando. See if we can get a good exit onto the front straight. Try and get that uh, gap out to a second. It's 0.9, but Alonso behind us, you can see there, pulls out from behind Latifi. I think they both had DRS there, but Alonso should, on the fresher tyres, complete that move. And then it really is just a matter of time until he cruises up to the back of us. Hopefully not bringing Latifi with him. I mean, I can take being beaten by Stroll and Alonso. If uh, Latifi gets past us, then we're going to have to have a serious look at ourselves, aren't we? We have managed to keep Alonso out of DRS for that zone, though. Jump back on board. And you might be able to start and see here a little bit of the loss of grip. Um, what, I, what I have done relatively well, if I'm praising myself, uh, and somebody's got to, is not overdriving the medium tyres. Sort of staying within the grip range that I have. I'm going to make a mistake here somewhere, aren't I? There's one. <laughs> sort of staying within the grip range of the tyres and so whilst we are obviously slower and that's about as good as we've come out of that corner or race uh, but yeah whilst obviously we're slower because the tyres are slower and they're older and all that um, I am still I think well you can see Latifi he's not catching us and you could argue he shouldn't be we have a better car than him but the fact that he is not catching us I think is a good sign it shows that I'm learning <laughs> ever so slowly to uh, to sort of not drive beyond what the car's capable of. But you can see Alonso has cruised up to the back of us now. And it's only really a matter of time, isn't it, until we see that Alpine getting past us. We're coming up with the two laps to go. Uh, not quite sure what that was all about, but um, Alonso's not scared off. He drives straight past us. And that should be that, as I say, with two laps to go. Now, We'll try and hang on the back here. You never know. Maybe we can get DRS, but a poor exit out of that corner. We're onto the overtake button. Just trying desperately to stay something like in a position to get an overtake at the end of the straight, but he's gone. So we come in now. Final lap of the race. Final few corners. Alonso, you can see in a lap and a bit, has pulled out five seconds. He is much, much quicker. But Latifi is uh, two seconds back. We've held that gap, which is, I guess, something we can cling to. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Well, that was painful. But better than expected. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Look, obviously racing Latifi isn't where we want to be as a team. Uh, and it was a shame that uh, Robert just didn't stay out of my way as I was trying my best to exit that friggin' hairpin. But, uh, you know, we take the positives out of today and we move on. What positives? Well, the race is over, isn't it? That's a huge positive.
So there we go. I thought it would be hard work. It was. It actually was better than I was expecting it to be. It was I like, to blame for the li little coming together there with Swartzman. Perhaps I'll have to watch it back on the replay. But um, yeah, I mean, look at the fastest lap there. It was. We were faster than the Williams, and that was it. Uh, uh, we're way, way off the pace. I don't know. As I said, I don't know if it's the car, if it's me. It's probably a little bit of both, leaning more towards me. I would imagine. Um, I just never clicked with Singapore, unfortunately, and that was uh, that was the result. But let's go and have a look and see what that does for the standings. We know that Ocon has beat us there as well, so that's not going to help us in the um, in the rivalry. But we'll check that in just a second. But we're still sitting there in 11th. Uh, you can see how much faster. I mean, Alonso and Stroll just caught us and drove straight past us, didn't they? Uh, but we still have now. Did Alpha Tauri score points there? Did they? Were we more than three points ahead of them previously? Uh, let's go and have a look. The yeah, Gasly got two points, so that hurts us a little bit. Um, but it's not the end of the world, obviously. There's still a long way to go. So, Ocon, he's pulled, he pulled back one in qualifying. He's pulled back two there in the race. So, well, it can it's going to happen next race, isn't it? Whoever gets there for oh, actually six, he would have to win everything, I think, to, um, yeah, to win that. And the next race is Japan, and Japan, I think, is a track that I might do okay at. Sort of has those flowing corners that I seem to do better at. Uh, you see, we didn't get... We had qualified Ocon, which... Did we? I don't think we did. I think they're giving us some free money there, but that's okay. Only 50 grand worth of damage. I'll take that. That's absolutely fine. And uh, there we go. Some cash in the bank as well. But guys, that is it for today. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Uh, if you subscribe, but if you're new, ring the bell so you know when I upload new videos. And uh, yeah, not as good as Russia, that one. But next up, it's Japan. We don't have to race there again... Uh, well, till next season, obviously, and um, Japan should be better, I hope. Take care.